Hi, a friend of mine saw the SDS drill that I repaired in a previous video and quite liked one himself. So he ended up uh, bidding on a couple on eBay and ended up winning three broken ones. So what we're going to do, we're going to strip them down. I'm not going to record that bit. I'm just going to strip them down, take the electronics out, take them to the other bench, have a look at the electronics, see if we can repair them. And then at the end of the video, we'll test them and see how we get on. So anyway, I've pulled the first one apart. And as we can see here, we have a blown MOSFET, just like the uh, previous SDS drill that I repaired. So I've actually already desoldered this one. And we have a replacement MOSFET here. So we are going to solder this one in place. And then... Um, hopefully test it and see if everything works so I think I'm just going to use the iron on this one instead of the hot air and we'll see how we get on Now these three pins are actually all linked together, so... So we can actually just link them three together, and these two. It's actually only this one pin here that needs to be on its own because that's the uh, gate pin. Just have a quick check of that with the uh, magnifying glass. And all those pins are making contact. Alright, I think it's just a case of trying it and see if it works now. So this is Milwaukee drill number two. So let's have a look what's going on with this one. That one looks all right. That one looks all right. That one looks all right. Now I think this is the blown one because it looks like there's a crack there. Actually measures okay there but We have a dead short from the gate pin to the drain. If we try and see this one, no short. If we swap the leads round, that's fine. No short, and we'll just try this one. That's fine. And no short. So that one there is the one that's blown now I'm just going to pick away at this cotton and there we go 
It's actually got quite a bit of coating on this one compared to the other ones. This is more like a, a silicone conformal coating on it. Right, we'll get some hot air on. We'll see if we can get that, uh, that MOSFET off. Just put some leaded solder on this. Still quite warm that. <laughs> yeah, that appears soldered. Right, we'll put this one back together and we'll test that one. So blow MOSFET on drill one, blow MOSFET on drill two. Right, so this is Milwaukee drill number three. This one is actually the, the dirtiest of the three of them. Uh, but straight away, once I took the circuit board out, I noticed there's a big crack in this MOSFET here. So, I would suggest this one's the culprit. Yeah, I might have just pulled that track off there. Yeah, I'll just see if we can... Uh, Rescue that. This conformal coat and things aren't very good for soldering and repairs. Right. I'll try some hot air on it and we'll see if I can get this one off now. I think there might actually be two MOSFETs gone on this because if we just tell you what, I'll just uh, I'll just check it. measuring okay but it's definitely not okay yeah see we've got a short now I think it would be that one because normally when one goes it sometimes takes the other one out on the same on the same pair so I think that one's short as well so 
I'm probably going to end up taking both of those off. So. some flux on and put some leaded solder on these clean up Two pins don't really matter because they're all the same contact anyway. Right, so we need two new MOSFETs for this one. We'll just check that one, see if it's short, because I've got a feeling it is, and we'll check that the short's gone. Yeah, that one's short, and we'll check that the short's no longer there. So you can have anything on them ones. Mm, that seems a bit low. So it's hard to get uh, get the probes on for this. Uh, like I say, it's like silicon coating on it. But right, so we need two new MOSFETs for here. I'm gonna put a bit more solder on this pad. Looks on.
lined up okay. Just double check those. That one looks fine. Yeah, all well, looks good. Might just put a little bit of solder on this end pin there because I'm not sure whether it's totally connected or not. Right, we shall go and give this one a test then I'll put it back together and then we'll give them all a test. So this is still drill number three. Now, one thing I have noticed with this, I've just tried this back in the drill and it's not doing anything, but one thing I have noticed that's different to the other drills is when you plug the power in normally like that, the light comes on and then after a while it slowly dims down. This one isn't doing that. Obviously it had two blown MOSFETs, but what I think's happened is uh, when one of them shorted, it sent power back down one of these cables and possibly fried the uh, processor or some voltage regulator or something inside of this part of the uh, the motor. Con this is actually the motor controller there, and that's the yeah the MOSFETs that actually drive the motor. Now the problem with this is this is set in really hard epoxy so it's not very user serviceable now whether or not we can actually get something to dissolve this and try and repair it I don't know but uh, I think at the moment I think we're just gonna have to leave drill number three because of what I've just said so a bit of a shame but Never mind, I think we've fixed two out of three, so what we'll do is we'll just uh, we'll go and record that bit and then uh, we'll continue from there. Right, so I've put drills one and two back together. Number three I've just left in parts because, well, it's uh, it looks like we're not going to be able to repair that one. But let's try drill number one. <sighs> And that's working. See the light comes on when you put the battery in as well. It's like if I unplug the battery. See the light comes on straight away. And that's not happening on drill number three. We'll try drill number two. Right then. So trying to repair three Milwaukee SDS drills. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, please subscribe. If you have any comments or suggestions or any other suggestions of items that you'd like to see us try and repair, please leave it in the comments section below. And as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.